Namaskar. I'm Suruchi Das and you're watching Rhythm News. Today, we bring to you an incredible story of innovation, strength and national pride. India has taken a giant leap in defense technology as the Defense Research and Development Organization successfully conducted the final test of the indigenously developed solid fuel ducted ramjet propulsion based missile system. This achievement showcases India's self-reliance in defense and its growing global dominance in cutting-edge missile technology. In a test conducted off the Urisha coast, the SFDR missile proved its unmatched capabilities. The missile system proudly made in India was fired from a static launcher at the integrated test range and flawlessly achieved its mission objectives. The missile's speed exceeded Mark III, three times the speed of sound and it neutralized its targets with absolute precision. This wasn't just a test, it was a testament to India's technological brilliance. India is the first country to develop SFDR technology. This, this breakthrough enables long-range air-to-air missiles to intercept and destroy fast-moving aerial targets over 300 kilometers away. This technology allows missiles to travel at supersonic speeds, making them highly effective against enemy aircraft. It's a major step forward for India's air defense system and sets a new standard for precision and speed in aerial combat. The system was built by the Defense Research and Development Laboratory in Hyderabad in collaboration with Research Center Imarat, which is also in Hyderabad, and High Energy Materials Research Laboratory of Pune. With this, November has been a remarkable month for India's missile program as SFDR test follows the successful trials of two other indigenous systems. First, India's first long-range hypersonic missile, which is capable of destroying targets 15 kilometers away, was tested on November 16. And the 3,500 kilometer range K-4 missile launched from INS Arihat submarine on November 27. This streak of success underlines India's focus on strengthening its strategic defense. Moreover, former DRDO chairman G. Satish Reddy recently highlighted the transformative potential of SFDR. Once fully inducted, it will empower India to develop long-range air-to-air missiles that no other country currently possesses. This technology will place India in a league of its own, unmatched in aerial combat capabilities. India's commitment to achieving self-reliance in defense is visible in these accomplishments. DRDO's indigenous advancements not only enhance national security, but also contribute to Atmanirbhar Bharat, which is a self-reliant India. These technologies reduce dependence on foreign imports, saving billions in defense expenditure while fostering innovation. Also, India's missile advancements also signify its rising stature on global stage. The ability to design and deploy such state-of-the-art systems establish India as a leader in advanced defense technology, alongside nations like the US, Russia and China. This is a proud moment for every Indian. The SFDR missile is more than just a weapon. It is a symbol of India's capability, ambition and unwavering spirit. With DRDO leading the way, India's future in defense innovation looks brighter than ever. We salute the brilliant minds and tireless efforts that make achievements like this possible. Jai Hind.